Okay, so you see it's playing there. So like while that's going, I'm going to open up another application. Let's go to, let's see if I can find a 3D viewer app. Page down. There it is. And I'm going to move this over to this side. So you can see the videos playing over here. I have another video here or screen here. Let's see what else I can get going. Let me just move that. All right, let's see here. Just kind of scanning through and looking to see what is available as far as holograms. I would actually have to pick this up and move this over. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way down. And at this angle here, right, I'm able to cut whatever angle I want. Or back to the top. Where I secure the actual triangle. And let's see here. Let's grab. Let's grab this dancing girl here. So it's downloading the model. And as you see, there's another video playing here. So I've got this screen up. There's that. And then here's the model. I'm going to put this down on the floor right here so you get the kind of scale there's the fireplace image there expand the hologram and let's see how big it lets me make it okay so you as you can see this hologram is the size of the basically dang near the size of the room so I'm going to Fix this in place, and let's hit play, I believe it is, and I'm going to back up a little bit so I can see a little bit more of what's going on. So as you can see, And me standing next to the hologram, so you can see the size of the person next to me. They're going up to about, what, here? Maybe a little bit taller. So this is the kind of technology that I thought would blow up um, in regards to, you know, like Microsoft. Um, I do enjoy the View 6 Blade, but let me tell you, it would be incredible if the View 6 Blade had this kind of functionality where you've got multiple windows, multiple holograms that um, you can rescale in size. That's the key because I can, you know, I can go over here to this and make it as big as I want to make it. And mind you, I still have the hologram here uh, dancing. I still have the uh, video in the back. Let's see what else we can bring into this. Let's grab the uh, ballerina. And I'm going to see if this will stay, if it'll still be playing with the ballerina. I'm going to see if I can put both of them up at the same time. And here we're loading the, the other hologram. As you can see, the video still playing in the back. 
I've got this window here. Let's put this uh, right here. And fixed. As you can see, it doesn't move. So now I'm going to get a 45 degree angle on this board. Based Let's get the size up. Set up. So I can loosen this, turn it to a 30 degree. Okay, so let's, uh, and I can make my cut. Now I have a 30 degree cut. Put that Four there. This and let's and set it. it again. So you see there, this one's still dancing. Video's still playing in the back there. Right there. This one here. Let's see, I don't know if they'll both dance at the same time let's see maybe a limitation yeah it does appear to be a limitation that one uh, moves at at a time but I still have all the holograms here and you know to see that it's a hologram look I'm gonna walk right behind the holograms here and walk even through it let's open up let's see what else we could do here has also made a square similar to this um, to be able to function in a similar fashion. So you see you can get all of your angles, your protracted angles, with um, a triangle like this. Um, now this thing's not cheap. This thing is like, I want to say like $400 or so, over $400, especially with the set. So the set comes with all kinds of attachments to be able to um, use it in a variety of different um, methods. Like you can actually put, there's a lip that I can put on here to make it all actually um, other people will stay. You know, let's, grab let's grab another hologram here. So it does, the audio seems to be kind of breaking up a little bit as I have all of these different things going on. The video back there is playing fine. The ballerina seems to be struggling a little bit. But I am downloading another model. I have the Land of the Dinosaurs open here and then this hologram standing here. Now I have another hologram back here. Let's see if I can get to it. And let's just click it and see what happens here. So this one's in space. I didn't expand it. Actually, it looks like there's two of them. There's one here, too. So if you look and see all of the different holographic images that I have up. So what I was imagining was going into a coffee shop with this type of device on with a uh, Bluetooth keyboard. You know, it's, it's a Microsoft product, so an Xbox controller, a Bluetooth mouse, and being able to you know, whether it be game on a big screen or do any kind of um, work that I wanted to do on a big screen. Um, it has a built-in camera, you know, it has, you, so you can take videos, you could take uh, pictures. Um, obviously you have holographic images. There's a, an application. I don't know if it's still available on this platform for uh, SketchUp where you could actually create an image, you know, a 3D SketchUp that you would create and you could actually walk through the image. So if it was a building, you could actually walk through it and look around and see the walls and everything. So let's get rid of this. Everything being measured out exactly the same. It's basically everything being cut. Let's get rid of this. If you wanted to make a table and you wanted to- And let's get rid of this. Or maybe 30, you know, and- And then let's check out this dinosaur one here. I'm going to close this and as you can see so when I put the hollow lens on I'll typically walk into a room and I'll find all kinds of applications that I left just sitting there uh oh looks like we had um, a, no it didn't crash so basically this particular app that I have open now is um, 
exclusive. So it basically shut down everything else, but it's a pretty cool little demonstration. So it kind of gives you the scale, um, you know, like what it would be like to be in the land of dinosaurs. As you see the portal opening here. Welcome to the land of dinosaurs. Tap on the portal to start the journey. So then as you see, you see the dinosaur there. Oh, look at that. So obviously to the real world, it looks like I'm doing nothing. But as you can see, looking through the hollow lens, you can see exactly what I'm looking at. Um, it's it's great resolution for this a hologram. This is Titanosaurus, the largest known dinosaur or land species to ever exist. Titanosaurus are estimated to have grown up to 65 feet, as tall as a five-story building. Just imagine, his length could reach 130 feet, and his maximum weight is estimated at almost 140,000 pounds, the weight of 10 African elephants. For comparison, look at this T-Rex, the most famous predator, standing in front of the Titanosaurus. He could reach only 20,000 pounds. So it looks like Titanosaurus would not be afraid of predators. Take your time to check the dinosaur. Air tap on it when you are ready to continue the journey. The sound of his footsteps could be heard far away. And each and every animal of the late Cretaceous knew that step of Super Dinosaurus. You really can't confuse it with anything. Now imagine this. Let's come a little bit closer. You don't have to be afraid of him. The Titanosaurus was an herbivore, and his size and length of his neck helped him to reach fresh leaves from the tops of trees. Such an enormous creature needed a lot of food every day, so it had to walk long distances looking for food. But transportation of such a big...